everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you will stick around for some of my other videos as well. So um, today we are doing my weekly spread for the week of June 8th through the 14th and I've already started a little bit but I will um, explain that in a second. So originally I had planned on doing a spread this week using the bookish sticker book because I did just get that in the mail on Friday. However, there is a um, movement going around the planner community for this week where we are all making spreads um, using black and white only and um, including quotes from inspiring black leaders in honor of the Black Lives Matter movement. So today I will be um, mixing my original plan and creating a black and white only spread. Um, so as you can see on the left side here I have already covered up the entire page as kind of like I did last week. I feel like this is something I'll be doing with most of my spreads coming up just because I as I explained in my last weekly spread video I really don't um, like the colors that are on the original page but anyway. So I used a piece of cardstock and I just glued it on top. Um, it's this gray and white striped uh, piece of cardstock. And then I took a June sticker and threw it on the top in the corner so I know what month it is. This quote that I have is from Franklin Augustine Thomas, who uh, is a philanthropist. Um, he's the first African American to lead the Ford Foundation. So he's, uh, 83 years old and um, he is a somewhat of an inspiring black leader and I really enjoyed this quote that I found. Um, it says, one day our descendants will think it incredible that we paid so much attention to things like the amount of melanin in our skin or the shape of our eyes or our gender instead of the unique identities of each of us as complex human beings. Um, so I just uh, typed this out with fancy fonts on a Word document and then printed it out and cut it to size. Um, it's not perfect. This page is not what I thought it was going to look like and I am, I don't really care. I think it's a good message um, and all we're going to be working on today is just the right side so I'm assuming this is going to be kind of a short video. Um, and. I'm just going to go ahead and apologize for any background noise you hear in this video. Um, I'm filming this on Sunday, which is something I never do, um, so a lot of people are home. But anyway, the first thing I'm going to start out by doing is I have two um, black and white washi tapes here, and I think I'm going to take this skinnier one and do like a, I want to do like, tape the corners. So I'm just going to rip it and do like this. And then I'm just going to take this and put it on the um, page on the right side. making it kind of uniform. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up pulling some of that up at any point, but that is what I have for right now. Um, I'm gonna go into colorful boxes. I'll take the black boxes in here. Um, I have stuff due on Sunday, so I'm going to put a box down here. Um, and I have a phone call on Monday. So I have these black 
letters here. And I was thinking I could just do a, I could find something that'll fit here to cover it up and then put um, Black Lives Matter. I've got to make sure I have enough letters though. So I think I do have enough letters to spell that out. So I just need to find something that'll go here. Um, I also wanted to use these black and white flowers from the botanicals book um so i think i'm gonna put those there's some smaller ones in here i obviously won't be able to put a ton just because of the um you know the way the page is laid out so i'll just put a couple around the area um this video probably won't have too much talking in it, I'm guessing. I'm happy that these movements are happening across all communities, and I think they should be. Um, I am just having a little bit of a hard time um, as I'm doing this, just because it is sad what this is for, but I'm also happy that it, um, that all communities are taking the initiative to make it um, happen and to make it, I don't know, I, I'm not great with words guys, <laughs> but um, I think it's good that the planner community has organized something like this um, and I'm glad to be participating in it. Um, but I do think it's sort of a challenge that's meant for reflection. So I'm finding that as I'm starting this challenge and creating this spread, I find the want to reflect on what the world is right now. Um, and so, I find myself wanting to reflect and so as I reflect I am it's hard for me to speak on what I'm how I'm creating the spread um, I don't know I'm just at, kind of at a loss for words uh, so forgive me if I am less talkative in this um in this video because it is for a good reason <laughs> all that being said though i will be including um some links in the description of places where you can uh, sign petitions of um there was a petition uh, whoa a petition <laughs> there was a petition um that i signed um about a week ago that um, was intended to reopen Breonna Taylor's case. If you're unfamiliar with her case, I will also include something in the description about that. Um, but it has since been reopened and they are um, starting to look into her case now, which is great. Um, there are some other petitions circling around now. Um, so I will include a bunch of those in the description. Um, I will also include places that you can donate if you're able. Um, that is by no means saying that you uh, have to. Um, if you have the ability to, then I would encourage you to donate um, just because it is a great cause. But yes, that is all I had to say after that. I gotta find something to cover this. Okay, so there's this box and it has all these multicolors around it. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is just cut off the border. So then it'll just be a grid and I'll put um, the quote in there. Okay, 
so I cut it out. It's not perfect, but I think it'll do the job. Um, so I'm just going to throw it right here. Um, and I'm actually, this might be a little weird, but I'm going to take that washi and just throw it on the edge here. Um, it's not um, what I expected to do. But I do want to cover up this edge and make it look a little less, um, a little less like it doesn't fit. I know it's obvious that it doesn't fit, but maybe if I do this, it'll be a little bit less stark. Should I do it all the way to the bottom? I've never done that before. However, this could be... Actually, I kind of like it. I was expecting to hate that and just completely get rid of it, but I kind of like it. Cool. Okay. And now I'm going to take... I'll figure that out later. But now I'm going to take those letters and just spell out Black Lives Matter over here. So I'm actually going to leave this spread just like this. Um, I like it. I think it's very pretty and very simple and it has a fantastic message behind it. Um, I'm so glad that um, there's two girls that put together this um, challenge uh, for the planner community. I will um, link their uh, Instagram handles in the description. Um, there's going to be a lot of stuff in the description, but um, final things I'd like to say are um, if you're watching this and you are have been protesting or are planning to protest, please be safe. Be prepared for any situation that could arise. You all have seen the um, stories that have uh, released from all of the um, protests and things of that nature. So everyone, just please be safe. Have someone with you at all times. Don't go alone. If you are not protesting because you um, don't want to or you uh, are unable to, like I am, because someone in my family is high risk for COVID. Um, so there are other things you can do to help. You can raise your voice and you can spread um, positive information and uh, petitions as like the ones I will be including in the description. You can donate to various um, places that are supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, you can not be afraid to confront someone you know. Like uh, if your grandfather uh, says some kind of racist joke, you can tell him, hey grandpa, that joke's not funny, um, it's racist. Just saying that is monstrously helpful. So um, I don't have much else to say. I thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I apologize that this was more of a, I'm probably gonna end up speeding up a lot of this content with music just because um, there's not a lot of words to say. <clears throat> or words that I can say at this point. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and if you've stayed this long, I really appreciate you sticking around to see the end. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and check out some of my other videos. And if you enjoy those, then I would appreciate if you would subscribe to see future content. And uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram. It is just at Taylor Lee Planning, the same as my channel name. Um, and I will see you guys next time. 
be safe.